It's always amazing to be in Argentina and Cordoba is one of my favourite cities here. So um, it's lovely to be here. Obviously sort of things are different, um, but I did three shows, social distance events, everyone sat down and no dancing, but it was great actually. The atmosphere there was incredible. People were kind of sat down grooving like this and and um, clapping and it was great. I really enjoyed it actually, really enjoyed it. Well, there's a few things. I've got stacks of friends here, which is lovely. Obviously, Vampy and Tori and the whole BMP crew are great friends. I've known them a long time. I've known Vampy and Tori for a long time. Always play for them here in Cordoba. So it's great to see them. Uh, but I love the city. Uh, the, uh, the food's great here. Um, last year we went up into the Sierras and stayed on the Estancia and went horse riding and stuff like that. So that that's really good. It's a really good vibe to the city. I think clubbers are some of the best in the world. The people really enjoy uh, the music. They've even got their own dancing style here. It's the arm swinging the arms, and and it's a joy to be here. I love coming here. I actually really enjoyed it my dj career i've been really lucky but i've been busy for a long time and and the past few years have been been the busiest of my whole career i was flying every week some i think two years ago in three months i did 52 flights in in 12 weeks which is ridiculous and so for me being at home um with my lovely wife petra every week so waking up in my own bed on a Sunday morning was great. Okay, I've missed the gigs, I've missed the work. But also I think it's about sort of being busy. So we're lucky, we have a nice garden at home. And so we were growing vegetables, stuff like that. Okay, I miss everything. It's not great not earning any money. Um, that side hasn't been so great. I have to try and be a positive about it, even though it's crazy. The world has changed completely. Uh, this time last year, we had no idea it was coming. I understand people get stressed, I understand people find it really hard, but I think it's important to stay positive. It will come back and when things change, it will go back to the way it was really quickly. People will be dancing here, there'll be huge events, it will come back. It's just taking longer than we thought. I think it was just mixing with people and not being frightened of being close to people, hugging your friends. I've, I've not seen, seen my parents for months now and stuff like that, you know. I miss friends, family. Okay, the parties are great, but then really, I, I think it's interaction with other human beings in the normal way. You know, it's not, it's not a fist bump, you know, it's not quite the same as a hug. I've been asked this question every five years for almost 30 years. Aggressive music, I think, has changed all the way along, but it does have periods where it becomes very samey. People get too lazy and they just do the same thing over and over and over again. And I think that when new styles like, like the whole organic progressive stuff, which is using more, more ethnic style of instruments, that mixed with the progressive, I think, is a nice idea. The melodic techno, for me, it just sounds like trance, old trance. But that's my opinion. It needs more people making it that are musicians. A lot of the progressive scene is full of guys who are very good on the computer. So it's, it's kind of, it's more programming than, than writing music. I always, um, if I speak to producers, I say someone in a Cordoba, I'm sure in Cordoba there's a great guitarist and there's a great piano player and there's a great uh, violin player who if you just brought into your studio, put some headphones on and said just jam along to this and then just take samples and samples and add it to your progressive tracks and it's going to lift it. Um, so, so I think that more producers should be involving live instruments. Music is like fashion. 
you need the extremes so when you see a Paris fashion show and people are wearing clothes which which nobody would wear I like that because it's the same in music so you need the extremes I think there should be more of a punk ethos I mean like electronic music people sort of taking risks of what they make I don't mind if people don't like my music what I don't like is someone saying it's nice you know it's just normal sort of the extremes of what you feel about music I think are great love something or hate it is great I being there it, that's not really what a musician wants I don't think too far in front I think Petra and I have built up uh, the Soundgarden brand m more and more over the past uh, five or six years and that's going really well so so we're gonna concentrate on that next year maybe if I can do it in time uh, because I want to do some Nick Warren live shows with a band um, here in Argentina so I'm gonna try and put together a band of Argentinian musicians um, it will be electronic there won't be a drummer, but then I'm going to use a guitarist, synthesizer players, maybe some, some percussionists, maybe some vocalists, and, and do not clubs, we'll do live venues and just try and do a band. Because um, I've made, I've made enough music now that I can do a live show, and, I'll be, and plus I've been writing some stuff that's specifically aimed at doing live shows. So, yeah, that, that's that. And just carry on. I, I have a fantastic job, you know? I, I fly around the world, I stay, stay in great places, I meet lovely people. I really enjoy playing music for people, so I'm not planning on stopping yet. Music has always been a passion for me. I, from about the age of 10, I started to buy, buy vinyls. I have around 50,000 records at home, which is a mess. But, the, but then it's always been a vital part of my life. Making music, I still have an issue with every single piece of music I made. There's something wrong in all of it. So I still want to make the perfect Nick Warren track. I haven't done it yet. So that gives me the passion to keep working. And it's, it's a really good fun thing to do. I don't make myself make music. So um, if I have no ideas in my head for two months, it's okay. I don't worry about it. But then something comes in and then I start to write and it comes fast and I write sketches I don't try and finish anything straight away because I think write something put it away and then come back a week later and go okay is it right or change this blah 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 and I like to spend one month or two months working not constantly but it must take that long it worries me when someone says oh I finished the track in one day I'm like mm. Well, it's not going to be very good then, because you have to spend time. Um, but no, it, music, love, they're the same thing. Really. Thank you very much. Thanks, brother. <laughs> Tori was naughty, because I'm not a Belgrano fan. I'm, I'm actually a River fan in, in Argentina. So Tori bought me the shirt, the Belgrano shirt. And he said, oh, well, just put it on for a minute. Just put it on for a minute. So I put it on and of course, tsh, 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 tsh. and then the internet is full of me wearing a Belgrano shirt. I'm really pleased for him. He loves that club. Um, I think it means an awful lot to him to be now the vice president. And I think he'll do a great job. He's a super guy. And I wish them all the best, as long as they don't beat Rhythm. Okay. <laughs>